I picked Hood College and I was very glad that I did. It was a small school and at the time it was a women's only residential college. Men could commute, however, they could not live on campus at the time. The year that I graduated was the same year that the school decided to open housing to men. And they did that because they did their research and found out that women colleges who went co-ed in terms of residencies actually increased in enrollment. And it wasn't because they had a sudden surge in men attending the school, but they had a surge in women attending the school. Now, I must say Hood College is doing an outstanding job. I went to my 20-year reunion and the campus is still pristine. Explore the small liberal art colleges that pursue you. They might have the capacity to give you the attention and hands-on assistance in terms of navigating your undergraduate years that bigger schools might not have the capacity to offer you. You should decide for yourself what it is that you want when you go off to school. Think about the whole package, not only the campus and the technology and the equipment and the resources and the faculty and the student services that are available and the food that's around the campus, but how does it make you feel? When you are walking on campus, do you feel like you belong or do you feel like you're a stranger? Do you feel like you're welcome there? Or do you feel like you're kind of a bother? Do you feel like that you can see yourself there for four years? That's a good amount of time. It's going to fly by because I hope that you have fun and time flies when you're having fun, but it's a long time if you're not going to enjoy it. So the choice is yours. I encourage students to make the decision for themselves. Yes, parents have a say, especially if they are going to pay. So I will stay out of that conversation. But if they're not paying for it and you get the scholarships and you get the packaging that is appealing and affordable to you, then go for it and do just that.